What's going on, guys? Bruce here at Bulls Currency back at you with another Kishu Inu update. Guys, before we get into the good news, the bad news, and some good old chart analysis, don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, and hit that notification bell because you never know which update is going to be a huge help at the right time. And as always, everything we share here is strictly entertainment and education. It is not financial advice. Do your own due diligence. Be safe out there in these crazy crypto spaces, but there's definitely profits to be made. So without further ado, let's get right to the bag. So here we go. Kishu Inu, as we're looking on CMC, you know, a little bit of green across the board, but over here with the 24 hour volume, you can see we're down 36%. Um, you know, nothing we never seen before. Uh, we're going to take a look at the chart towards the end. Let's see if there's any news going on. I haven't really been paying attention to their social media to see if there's any updates with Project K or any of the um, gaming things, the uh, rumors that were out. But if you guys know anything, definitely comment below and share your link of your source of information. Definitely would like to take a look. So here we go, let's take a look at the holders. As you can see, we're taking some significant leaps uh, in the bullish direction, right? It's looking really good. I like what I'm seeing. Uh, we're definitely way past quarter million and and we're really gaining some momentum right now. People are really seeing this area price range as a great opportunity. And Kishu is still top 10 for where ETH whales are uh, investing in. So let's go ahead and take a look at the chart. All right. So here we go. Kishu Inu. As you can see, we're still here between um, <clears throat> these two key areas here, as you can see, that are highlighted in, in a blue line down below. Uh, as I mentioned last time, I believe, one of the last videos, I, I, I think we were here. I kind of knew we were going to go a little bit more bearish, kind of knew there was a good chance we could just range here, and that's what's happening. But I do see currently a nice bullish engulfing candle forming. So if that closes like that in whatever amount of time is left on this daily candle, you know, we possibly could see a nice uh, bearish move back up to this area here and possibly even back up into this range, which would be great, uh, especially if it actually breaks this little, uh, tiny little resistance level, I guess you could say here. Let's go to the four hours so it can be a little more clear, or the 12 hour. Yeah, so a little tiny resistance level here. So if we could break through that, that'd be phenomenal um, that uh, we actually pull back up and range uh, from a little bit higher. I think we're gonna range in general, but I think uh, we, you know, as far as day traders is concerned, I think we're looking at a great um, possible great buy opportunity here for developing and forming. We'd like to see how that daily candle closes, but uh, definitely short term type of buying opportunity up to previous levels is definitely uh, a move I see happening. <clears throat> and overall, I think for maybe the rest of the week and maybe even next week, uh, we're going to see a lot of ranging still. Um, I think by the end of this week, we will be higher than where we are now, back to ranging um, a little bit uh, above this previous level here. And then from there, I think uh, moving into the week after, of course, I'll do an update to see how the candles formed and how they closed uh, to see where we're gonna be. But I have a feeling we could range for a little while uh, before we start seeing some nice bull runs happening and stuff like that. So we'll definitely keep an eye out, definitely, Pay attention to how this daily candle closes because if it can pull up a little bit more and close above this area right here, somewhere right there, that would be a great sign for it to continue at least for the rest of the week um, bullish. All right. So I'm still bullish overall. I'll keep you guys. Looks great. Not much going on. But until the next one, guys, stay blessed and stay bullish.